Welcome back to another episode of Moto GP Mac, and today we're going to talk about Stefan Bradl hitting the track in the pre shakedown test in Jerez before they head to Sepang for the official shakedown test and official riders test. Now, Bradl is testing Wednesday and Thursday of this week, and I've noticed a few things about the bike but also uh, Ken Kauchi and Thomas Arun are also present for this test so I would think more so acclimatizing themselves to how the team is run what is going on as you can remember Thomas Arun is now the test team manager so he will have an influential part in what is going on and also the translation more importantly back to Japan about what they're testing. But the few things that I noticed on the bike first was that we know that Honda have changed their exhaust supplier and they were with uh, SC Project and now they're with Akrapovic or Akrapovic, depends what side of the world you want to be calling it. But as you can see here, there is a little bit of a difference in how the exhaust even looks. Uh, there's slight changes within the, the exhaust. And you'll see it here in this picture more so where I do a back to back. You see that while the design is somewhat similar, um, the definite color changes, um, which is standard with an Acropovic, is definitely there. Um, and it would be interesting to see they haven't changed because of looks they have changed, I would think, to try and find a performance gain. So it will be interesting to see how they found it. So the other thing that I noticed from the limited pictures that we have is that they're using the same nose cone as they were using in the Valencia test. However, it is the side of the fairing that they've put in another vent. And you will see the difference here. Um, as you can see, Stefan Bradl's bike first, and then following that, you will see Mir's bike with the same sort of setup. But as you will notice, the top vent there is more towards the front. However, if you look at a side view of Bradl's bike, you will see that top vent is moved further backwards. So there are some innovations definitely coming from Honda and I do think it's very interesting. Now the frame looks very similar to what they have run in the Valencia test. So I don't really have more up close pictures to see is there any difference. The main weld across just above where the rider's foot is consistent with the last frame. And the bolt hole or the, the hole that is just at the highest point of the frame, just where it meets the fairing, seems to be similar to what Mir and Marquez were using in the Valencia test. But it will definitely be interesting to see what they come out with in Sepang. Now, Honda normally do a shakedown test prior to the shakedown test kicking off itself. More so, it's just a systematic check to make sure everything is functioning as it should prior to the test to try and maximize the time on track that they have. This year is a, an absolutely crucial year in my view for Honda. So I'm sure they're all hoping that they have got it right this time. So I would definitely love to know your thoughts. What do you think is the point of moving that air vent backwards and also of the Akrapovic move from SC Project? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.